Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the component store has been corrupted DISM error 14098 on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to execute the component cleanup command. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window, simply copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below, then make sure to wait until the command processing is finished, then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the restore health command in a clean boot. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and select System Configuration from the search results. Now in here, in the System Configuration, click on the Services tab, then tick the box next to Hide All Microsoft Services, then click on the Disable All button. Now switch up to the Startup tab and click on Open Task Manager. Now in here, in the Task Manager window, make sure to click on any enabled program and simply disable it. Afterwards, just restart your computer and after restarting your computer, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, in the command prompt window, make sure to type in the following command. You can also find it in the description below. Note that the scan can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to whitelist your DISM utility in Windows Security. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type security and then select it as an application from the search results. Now in here, click on virus and threat protection and afterwards click on manage settings. Under exclusions, click add or remove exclusions, then click add an exclusion and select process. Now simply type dism.exe and then click on add, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.